praise the Lord Jesus Christ, Aja Bibi has been acquitted and she's soon to be released from prison. Now, for those who are familiar with Aja Bibi's situation, she's a Pakistani Christian woman that was accused of blasphemy in 2009 and sentenced to death. And she has spent nine and a half years in prison and a large portion of that in solitary confinement. So this is from what you're seeing on the screen. That's her picture. And this is from, this was posted by the Voice of the Martyrs, which is an organization that helps persecuted Christians. And this is what they've written. This morning, three Supreme Court justices filed into an Islamabad courtroom. They were ready to announce their verdict against Aisha Bibi, a Christian woman accused of blasphemy in 2009 and sentenced to death. She spent nine and a half years in prison and the justices were about to rule on her final appeal. Outside, tensions were high. Muslim extremists had threatened to take justice into their own hands and to riot. Within a minute, Chief Justice Mian Saqib Nisar announced the verdict. Her appeal was accepted. Aja Bibi was acquitted and she should be freed immediately. Pandemonium ensued. The justices rapidly left the room and Pakistani security forces rushed in to control the situation. Protests erupted. Okay. Protests erupted throughout Pakistan. Muslim radicals blocked traffic. Cellular services and social media networks were affected. According to Voice of the Martyrs, <clears throat> a Voice of the Martyrs worker, reports say radicals plan to take action early Friday morning after the first prayers of the day. Reached by phone in her cell, Aja Bibi told AFP, I can't believe what I'm hearing. Will I go out now? Will they let me out? Really? Her husband, Ashik Masih, told them, My wife spent so many years in jail, and we hope that we will soon be together in a peaceful place. Meanwhile, protests continue. Please continue to pray for Aja Bibi and her family. She also has two daughters, as well as all... Sorry, I just got a call. and uh, Ignore that for now as well as all Christians in Pakistan who may suffer as a result of the verdict. Thank God the justices did what is right. We'll continue to update you on the situation. And this was an email I got today from Alpha Relief, which is another ministry that ministers to Christians who are persecuted for their faith in the Lord Jesus Christ around the world. Our brothers and sisters in Christ urgently need your prayers. The Supreme Court has overturned the conviction against Aja Bibi, a poor Christian woman accused in 2009 of blasphemy. She will be released from prison later this week after eight years in solitary confinement. This has sparked outrage from Islamic extremists and local radicals who called for her execution. We are getting word from our partners on the front lines that they are receiving personal death threats for themselves, their families, and their churches. Also, they are threatening to burn down a local Christian TV station. It is the same situation, or same station, I'm sorry, same station that was bombed in 2015 by Islamic extremists. This is an urgent situation happening in real time, and they need your prayers. Will you stop for a moment and prayerfully intercede on behalf of these Christians who in the face of death still profess their love for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? So, I made a video about Aja's situation back in 2010. I'll put a link to it in the description section of this video. I just praise God. People, Christians around the world have been praying for this sister's release, and by the grace of God, she got released today. Or, I'm... I'm sorry, she re she got acquitted today. She's going to be released. But we've been praying for her release since her story first got publicized by ministries like Voice of the Martyrs and Open Doors USA and uh, International Christian Concern and Barnabas Aid and the various other aid organizations that help persecuted Christians around the world. So this is a great victory. But she needs to get out of Pakistan. Her family needs to get out of Pakistan you know, um, Pakistani politicians have been killed for supporting Aja Bibi, for speaking out against uh, her situation, against the injustice that she's experienced because she shouldn't be in prison. Um, there were false accusations made by the Muslim women that she worked with, that she committed blasphemy against the Prophet Muhammad because she was defending her faith because they were attacking Jesus. So she said, well, Jesus rose from the dead. What did Muhammad do? They beat her up. The men that she was working for beat her up. They put her in a closet. There was rioting. The Muslims who found out about it wanted her killed, but the police protected her and put her in jail, and she's been there ever since. So, you know, it's just unjust. You get Christians being accused of blasphemy left and right in Pakistan and in many Muslim-majority countries around the world 
when they're just simply defending their faith or it's just a false accusation, you know, completely. It's just a complete fabrication. In this case, it was a complete fabrication. Of course, they interpreted it as blasphemy because she said, what has Muhammad done for us? Um, but, uh, you know, I just praise the Lord Jesus Christ for this miracle because it looked hopeless. You know, with the Lord Jesus Christ, all things are possible. So we, we prayed. Um, many of us who knew about this prayed. And I can't say everyone did, but many Christians were praying for this sister. And this is awesome that she's been acquitted. But please keep her and her family in prayer and your prayers lifted up in your prayers because they want to kill her. They want to kill her family. They're going to target Christians. They're going to target the, the Supreme Court justices in Pakistan. Please pray for the protection of all those that were involved in acquitting her. Um, pray for her family. Pray that they can get out of Pakistan safely and get to the United States, that they'll, they'll have a safe passage to the United States. And pray that the Lord will save these Muslims in Pakistan. Um, pr just pray for the nation of Pakistan. Pray for justice to be done for all Christians who are persecuted and falsely accused of blasphemy or desecrating the Quran or, you know, leaving, leaving Islam, the, the apostasy laws. Um, that, you know, falling victim to the punishments that come along with leaving Islam in favor of Christianity. You know, if, if one sign that Islam is false is that people are killed for leaving the religion. I mean, whatever you may believe about God, you don't believe in God, you do believe in God. We can all agree that people shouldn't be killed for apostatizing, defecting, or leaving a religion. And that includes Christianity. You know, Jesus said if, if someone doesn't receive the gospel... Or they reject Christ, you know, shake the dust from your feet and walk away. He told the apostles when they went into a town, they went to preach the gospel. Uh, you give them your peace. If, if they don't receive what you have to say, if they don't receive the news about me, the Lord Jesus Christ, then go outside the city limits. Take your peace with you. Go outside the city limits and shake the dust from your feet. And God will deal with them in the day of judgment. We're not to play God. We're not, we're not to hurt people because they leave the faith. We pray for people when they leave the faith. And a lot of, a lot of, you see, this, you know, the Bible talks about a great falling away before the rise of the Antichrist, before the rapture of the church, uh, being caught up in the air, harpazo, the harpazo, being caught up with the Lord Jesus Christ in the air. A lot of people are going to fall away from the faith. Um, I don't believe those people were ever born again, but that's what the Bible says, that a lot of people would depart from the faith. Uh, and, you know, that, that there's a great falling away, and we see that happening. But they don't, no one has a right to hurt them. No, I mean, it, it's how can you call yourself um, a godly person or a follower of God or of a prophet or an inherent of a religion and kill someone because they no longer choose to adhere to that ideology or that religion? It's evil. It's, it's horrible. Anyways, um, thank God. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. He gets all the praise, honor, and glory from this. And um, just please keep her family in your prayers. Uh, pray that they'll have safe pageant passage out of Pakistan that she'll be able to get released uh, that nothing will happen to sabotage that that her and her family will be able to get safe passage out of Pakistan and preferably to the United States pray for the protection of all Christians in Pakistan pray that the Muslims will not protest that the Supreme Court justices in Pakistan will be protected and just pray that salvation will come to the Muslim people that they'll come to know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior that's all I've got to say for now praise the Lord Jesus this is awesome and I'll leave it at that. Christ bless you and keep you guys. This is just awesome. Praise Jesus.